boots on the ground, put it down, get up, get up, get up. I got something to tell you. I don't think they want you to know, but I'm going to tell you anyway. It's best selling author Mickey D. I host The Scoop. I want to thank you for joining me. It's a pleasure. It's an honor to be on your electronic device. Thank you very, very much. I hope you're having a great day today. Uh, it's a great day to be in the market. Although our uranium stocks, and I'm going to give you an update here in a minute, are down. That's because our leader is down, but uh, our leader is down for a good reason. So you know the stock, the uh, scoop is for your education, your entertainment, and your information only. I'm not a stockbroker, not a money manager, not a financial advisor. I'm actually, uh, you can say in the desert. Uh, uh, my friends, um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, uh, it's been a rough, rough day. It's been a rough week. This bear market is going uh, nowhere. But I need to remind you that the spot uranium price is $50 a pound in that area, guys. There's no panicking. Uh, just remember, SPUT has not even really, uh, you know, over the last, I would say, 90 days, six months, or so, they haven't really crashed things and bought up stuff like they really are capable of. Not only them, but other uh, uh, money funds have not uh, also. So there's, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of really good. Not a subscriber, guys. Go ahead and hit subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know. The algorithm's out there doing its thing. We, we definitely need those thumbs up. Uh, if you're in the area, uh, in Nevada, anywhere, in any of these uh, hills or any of these mountains or anything, looking for any of these properties like, like I have been, uh, you will uh, uh, definitely, you can buy me a, a coffee and I'll buy you a coffee when you come to Nevada. Anyway, guys. Uranium update here. Uranium update. Let me let me let me get real here. Let me get let me get let me get real. After I tell you the biannual cannabis stocks are out there for my private students, check your mailbox. That trade is always a fun trade. Past performance not a dick future performance, guys. But uh, we have had uh, a very a lot of success, a lot of fun with that trade. Uranium update. Like I said, spot uranium price fifty bucks, guys. No panicking, nothing going on. In 2007. 2004 to 2007, I traded this uranium bull market. Stocks went way up, they came down. They went way up and came down. Guys, if you're trading, good. I just learned early on that when you get certain stocks, like one of our stocks that is involved in a, uh, in, in while the marijuana day, vanadium and uranium tomorrow, companies get an early hold and grow rich. Well, vanadium and uranium is now, not tomorrow. You know, it's now. Companies get an early hold and grow rich. Now, when we looked at UEC, I'm gonna talk about it here in a second. UEC at a, at a quarter, it was about $200 million market cap company. It's over, it's gonna be over a billion. It's gonna be over two, two maybe be over five billion when it's all this thing is said and done because they're making the right moves. And when I told you that that's a company, UEC with Marinati, that's a company that you could hitch your wagon to and you could ride that baby through the uranium bull market all the way. Yeah, there's a lot of lot of digging and mining and stuff going on here. That's why I got a lot of bugs and a lot of, a lot of different things, guys. Just, uh, but that is one company. But uh, let's start with, let's start with Cameco. Chemical, big deal, guys. Brookfield uh, Renewable Partners there. Uh, Chemical buying Westinghouse. Now, what is this going to do? Chemical, this may let us say goodbye to Kaspatum Prom. Bye bye, cheap uranium. Bye bye, Kaspatum Prom. I like that. That's a possibility uh, because, uh, you know, they. 80. What? 40% of the world's, you know, <laughs> enrichment is whatever, you know, we're coming from, we're, we're, we're actually backing up Putin and giving Putin money as he destroys the West, which is, I, I don't, take it wherever you want to take it. That, uh, we have sellers out there and they're selling. That's the bottom line right now. Uh, there's sales going on. And I don't care if it goes... As long as Kastatumprom is out of the picture, you know, 
and we have this bifurcated market as everybody's talking about. We have these prices for the West and then those other guys have those other cheap. We'll be straight. Don't even worry about it. It's not a cold issue. Um, yeah, people are taking profits. They're doing what they do. That's what they do. You know, this is stock market. You're supposed to make money on your stocks. When they go up, it's okay to sell them. That's, uh, you know, whatever, whatever's happening is happening. Let's get over to Baby Knockout UEC. That's in the book there, along with some gold stocks and all that. It's all, it's all there, guys. Uh, UEC is buying that Rough Rider deposit up in Canada. Now, they're buying it from Rio Tinto. So Canada, uh, $150 million. The uh, Westinghouse deal, $7.9 billion. So we've got M&A activity brewing, guys. It's going, uh, you know, long-term positive. This is great for both companies, I believe, in my opinion. It's great for both companies. Sure, we're going to have some short-term uh, pain here as investors, but it's 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 good and uh you know we we just have to uh uh take the good with the bad here on, on this situation but um we can all say good riddance castatum prom in due time because one thing that's sure is these western companies are going to be looking at uh you know this cheap uranium as long as they can you know, they're not going, they're not buying from anyone else. They're going to be looking at this cheap uranium as long as they can. Believe me, guys, believe me when I tell you that. There's no, there's no uh, hurry, you know, and, and we got to have patience. There's no hurry in, uh, you know, baby, the baby, the West, sucking on that bottle and letting, letting it go before, you know, they turn uh, a certain age, put it that way. They're gonna they're gonna hold on to that, so um, that's what's going on with the market right now. The market goes up, stocks go up, and stocks go down. We will see, guys. Big deal, big deal. UEC in a big deal. I'll leave the link for you. You guys can read the whole story. Uh, Cameco involved in a big deal. Uh, it's you know uh, this is UEC, guys. UEC. I, I told you, guys. If you used basic baby knockout principles where you know we have a dinner uh, a night out for a family of four depending on where you are in the world that can cost anywhere from 150 to 350 400 dollars whatever it costs you right if you you if you're in there in, in the middle somewhere they just say 200 dollars let's say you bought at, at a quarter you bought UEC you bought 800 shares at a quarter Think about it now. When I said on $1,000, just a few years ago, I said on $1,000, you guys are gonna be able to retire on some of these stocks. UEC is one of those stocks that if you'd have shelled out a grand, you're gonna do well now as buying 800 shares as baby knockout and holding on to them. But if you shelled out a grand on UEC, Back when we said get into it at a quarter or so as a baby knockout, then you would be right on the money. I have another lithium stock like that right now that that I, I haven't even because it's not a baby knockout anymore. But you know how you got how Mickey D his those stocks in there and you just get a little bit of them, you know, just get a little bit. And as it goes up, then you add to it, add to it. Pil Pilbara on uh, uh, Australian lithium stock. That thing's over three dollars now, and I, I look. It's, it's kind of, I don't know. It's kind of came up on me, and I looked and I said I got eight hundred shares, and I bought that thing as a baby knockout, and I should have added to it. Well, that's sometimes they get away, they get away. But UEC is uh, acting like a big winner, with big baby knockout winner in the uh, uranium sector. Sorry, there's wind out here, the elements, things are happening. Uh, you know, they're picking up goods. Uh, the trucks are flowing, uh, you know, they're making a lot of noise, explosions going on, things are happening, and that's the, the way it is, guys. But that's that's what I wanted to tell you this morning. Things are going wild because uh, that's that's what happened, basically. That's what happened. So, like I said, 2004, 2007, guys, 
these things went up hundreds and thousands and tens of thousands of percent. Fast performance is not indicative of future performance, guys. So we, we don't know if it's going to do that again. Um, my private students, your biannual cannabis stocks are out there. Take a look. You know, a lot of people say, oh, Mickey D, I'm not messing with Yeah, I, I lost my... A lot of you made a whole lot of money, guys, when we first started uh, this cannabis trade. And, uh, you know, some of those uh, uh, stocks have been decimated, man. They've been knocked to the ground, man. They've been... And now we have a, a, a buying day with uh, uranium. This is a day you buy, you pick up, you add to your position, guys, when these things go down. I told you, 20% or more. Uh, don't worry. This is the third time I've done this. These stocks will go back up. Don't worry about it. It's going to be uh, okay. It's going to be, in the long run, it's going to be good. This is a good, uh, uh, this uh, Westinghouse Cameco is a good uh, uh, merger for both company is going to be good. The money's there. Uh, also, UEC, the money's there. It's going to be good for UEC. And UEC is just on a buying spree. Uh, it's a company. Let's not overdo it. Now, we've seen companies that have overdone it before, right? Can you say Aurora Cannabis? Can you say Canopy in, the, in those sectors? They overdid it. So we really, really don't want uh, stocks that overdo it. But we want those stocks that that are that have that that good little motion to them that are doing making positive, uh, making great moves. We'll take it from there. Love you, God bless you. Take care of you and your family, guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the trading week. I'll leave some links for you. You have some links to the books. You can you can do whatever you want to do. You can take a look at those, guys. Make sure you have these stocks though on your watch list, and uh, you will do fantastic. Love you, God bless you. Take care of you and your family.